Hello and welcome. In Ardas Imagine 2018, we have introduced several machine learning based classification operators. These operators can be used to classify raster and feature datasets. In this session, we'll discuss how to prepare a feature data that will later be classified using one of the supervised machine learning operators. I have opened a shape file that has close to 2,000 polygons, and we want to assign land cover classes to each polygon. The shape file was generated by doing FLA segmentation of a raster image. I will open the raster in a separate viewer so that we can do a side by side comparison of the image and the shape file. So let me open a new viewer. the raster data and fit both to the screen to the viewer. The raster data is a four band RGBN image. You can easily match the road network in both the vector and the raster data as well as some of the patches. Let's display the attribute of the shape file. I will again fit this to frame. Now, the shape file has class and name attributes. All the recurves are set to a value of zero for the class attribute and unknown for the name attribute. What we want to do is classify the polygons and update the name attribute so that it reflects the land cover type of the image. We will use supervised machine learning based operators to do the classification. Before a supervised machine learning based classification operator can be used to, for classification, it has to be trained. To do so, I have prepared a training data which has the classes that are representative of the area. Let's open the training data which is in a shape file format. I will clear this. These segments are actually taken from the data we want to classify. And let me style it by its class name. Uh -huh. As you can see, it has several classes. Let's also display the attributes of the data. This shape file also only has class and name attribute. But unlike the shape file we want to classify, this one has the appropriate class and name set for each record. The attributes were actually updated manually by inferring from the image which is displayed on the right. We can overlay it on the image to easily see which area the training polygons represent. Let me just do that by dragging the shape file into the viewer and I can expand this also to see the different classes. We will use this data to train the algorithm. Once the algorithm is trained, it can be used to classify the shape file we saw earlier. To train a machine learning algorithm, we also have to select the attribute of the training data to be used for the training. In this case, our shape file has two attributes class and name attribute. But none of these can be used for training the machine learning algorithm since they basically specify the land cover type but do not give us any other information that can be used to derive the land cover type for the data we want to classify. So we have to generate additional attributes for the training data. Since the polygons are generated from the raster image by doing FLA segmentation using the radiometric information of the image, we'll compute some statistics of the radiometric characteristics of the pixel contained within each polygon and attach the stats as attributes of the polygons. For this exercise, 
Uh, I have chosen to compute mean and standard deviation per band for each polygon. Since the image is a four band image, it means we'll have eight additional attributes for the polygons. I have created a special model that takes the shape file in the image and generates a new shape file that has the additional attributes we just discussed. Let's load and walk through the model. Okay, I will create a new special model editor. For now, I don't need the viewers. Then I will load the model I just mentioned. This model takes the training data or the shape file and the land cover image as inputs and using the raster statistics per feature operator for each polygon in the feature stream it will compute the per band mean and standard deviation of the pixel that are contained within each polygon finally it writes out an output feature stream that has this information as its attribute let's run the model this should be quick okay the model has run successfully let's open the output shape file okay for now i don't need this viewer i will bring this to viewers and clear this viewer and load the result here okay, okay we'll style it also by class name and let me just bring this a little bit up fit this to screen let's look at it as attribute table the input only had two attributes the class and the name and now you see the output has an additional eight attributes these are the per band mean and the standard deviation information that's computed by the model uh, the data to be classified also needs to have these attributes so what we will do is re is to reload the previous model we used for preparing the training data and run it with the data to be classified uh, let's just do that I don't need these two viewers for now and I'll bring this back and what we're gonna do is change this and use the uh, shape file that we want to classify and create a new one with attributes right let's run this okay it's done let's display the original uh, shape file and the one we just generated and compare them side by side uh, I don't need this for now so I will bring back the two viewers and clear I'll clear what we have it here and I will load the original unclassified vector and the one that we just generated which has additional attributes so let's see the attributes for the first one it has only class and name and let's look at the attributes for the new one we generated it has additional eight attributes that we just generated using the model we are done with preparing the training data and the data to be classified and we are now ready to start the training and the classification process but that will be a topic for another session. This concludes this session. Thanks for listening.